Alright, hello, this is Demon coming back for another round of Transport Fever. So, we ended the previous, well, if you've watched it all, I'm gonna do two separate playlists for it, but, um, if you've watched it, you might have seen my US campaign for Transport Fever. If you have, thank you for returning and coming back to the European side of it. If you're just starting the European side, thank you for watching, you can always go back to my US campaign. Um, I do give a disclaimer, um, I'm not the best at this game. There's probably people to do it better than I do, but if you try to find if you try to find a simple way of doing it, and you've been having trouble, you can always watch my videos because somehow I got through all the missions, um, except for seven. Seven I had to reset, and then I got it, and everything ran perfectly fine. Don't know how. And hopefully you guys aren't listening to my damn fan, my ceiling fan, because I'm. I need, <laughs> it's very hot right now, and I need a fan. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start it. Let's go to Europe. The old continent is constantly yielding great new inventions. Be part of this rapid technological progress and found numerous thriving transport companies in Europe. All right. In the cradle of it, so. the railroad is currently conquering all of Europe. Right in the middle is a young Alpine Republic where a mighty mountain massif blocks the way to the sunny south. The rocky Colossus can only be crossed with great difficulty. Time for a bold undertaking, crossing the Alps from north to south. A railroad tunnel through the Swiss Alps will make our young nation the most important route from the North Sea to the Mediterranean. So the only Alpine Republic that I can possibly think that they mean in this will be um, Switzerland. So you get to play, you get to do and help the Swiss out on this one. Now, as you guys will see, I have gone and done this mission already. Um, it took me like two or three tries to finally get like something that resembled working <laughs> for this mission because it took me a while. Um, it's mainly because this mission, it's not a very difficult mission, it's just, um, it kind of runs the same way as the US campaign, but as always I'll give you guys a bit of a jump cut because this is going to be a bit of a loading time. Alright, welcome back, so the game is about to begin, let's see what it does. It is August in the year 1872, and the construction of the Gothard Tunnel can begin. No idea why we of all people have been awarded this monster project. Could it be that we are the only Swiss company that applied? Or was our bid so ridiculously low that no competitor could match it? The fact is we have eight years and a very tight budget to build the longest tunnel in the world. And we've never built a tunnel before. So, let's get started. Three railroad lines already cross the Alps, but once our bold project is complete, the Gothard Railway will be the fastest, most direct connection between North and South. The hard niece of the Gothard Massif towers before us. We have enough workers, ragged but strong Italians, who have hired themselves out for a pittance. But we aren't going to dig our way through the mountain with our bare hands. We have to transport the necessary equipment to the construction site at the northern portal. Alright, so from what you guys are gonna be saying is I know where this I know what this thing's going to become and I already know what's gonna go on from this. So um, the first thing that we actually gain access to is we have to try to get tools that can produce stone and then the stone will come back here to basically get dumped. Now we, they already give you access to, what the hell was that? I don't know what that thing is, it's weird me out. Um, but basically what ends up happening is the thing that you're designed or being told you have to do is basically set up this line, get it built. Um, I will try to do this as best I can for the cheapest amount of money. The problem you run into is this mission runs the same way, um, unluckily, as the last mission or the first US campaign, which is you don't have a lot of money and the trains you have access to suck so you're, you're basically getting next to nothing um, from this mission however I will try my best to get this thing a going um, because the basic goal is you have to try to get this out and then eventually I have to use this freaking line to then transport a group of people through so Disclaimer, this is the thing I'm going to have to use to build it off of, but um, we'll get to it here at some point. Um, as of right now, I don't have much I can work with it. Um, 
Okay, so there's that one, there's that one. Okay, so this one's not too bad. I can get this done. I'm not going to worry about transporting people at the moment. I'm going to put all my focus on getting um, these goods handled. So what we're going to do real quickly is we're going to get a new line. It's going to go from, well, I guess maybe not from here. Let's go from... Oh yeah, I gotta build the other thing. All right, so we're gonna hurry up and build. Is give me this? I don't need a. I don't need a big one. I just need this minor one, which I'm going to put right about here, just for transportation purposes. Um, so what we're gonna end up doing is we are going to add a station. We're gonna add this to this, and this is going to be. I'm gonna call it old tool line because I know what this becomes after a while. So we're gonna make this a nicer, darker, light blue. And the other thing we're gonna to have to get access to is this little thing. Also, why do I have access to boats already? Did, why, why would, I don't remember if I had access to boats originally or not, but there's no real purpose of them. Why would I build them? There's nothing they can do. It just seems like a waste of money. All right, so let's just let's keep her going. Let's keep her going. So the rail line's been built. I need a train to be able to transport the needed goods. So the trains you get access to early on consist of these crappy little things. So you'll notice there's a big difference between the U.S. style and the and the uh, European style. Now, for me personally, I don't care which one as I have, but I'm going to do what I always do, which is this. We're going to carry five of these. They're all going to be designed for stone. Because that's just how I roll with this. I don't care. I like to get rid of this stuff. So, that train's going to be um, ready to go as soon as I let it. She's ready. I don't have to care about it anymore. Um, the next thing we got to go ahead and do is we pretty much get the exact same um, vehicles as previously. I think the only big difference is I think we get access to... The later horse cart now instead of the wagon or is the yeah so it's you basically get the exact same stuff there's just a few minor touch differences so these things are going to be transporting tools to that location get them set up right about here set line you guys are going to go on the old tool line and then because i didn't do it just yet i want to get the old tool line Halt, that is where you guys are going to pick up all your goods and then transport it to this location. Then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly do this, and this is going to connect to the route. Now, again, on our south is the place where we pick up the goods, and this is where we drop off, and this will be a nice whitish gray color. I didn't name it, I gotta name it Stone line all right now let's let the guys go and you are gonna go on the stone line now I have done this before and I think it it took a bit of my money out um, before where I built like two or three trains that went there to get stone out and I think my best bet is to go for a little bit more cheaper ones also you can just tell that train sucks um look at the little choo-choo train it goes boom and it only carries 20 rocks, so it's pretty useless at this point. Its fastest speed is 40 kilometers an hour, which isn't horrific, but it ain't great either. Also, I hope the game isn't too um, frame ratey. Um, I will say that because whenever I was playing um, this original, or when I'm playing this now, I'm actually editing. Uh, I think Transport Fever's final airmail scandal. So, yeah, I felt I was going to do it yesterday, but I kind of, like, got complacent, and I didn't want to do anything. <laughs> Came home, um, was BSing with friends, and playing a lot of, um, um, Hearts Fire and Four and, and, and such. Got a good Czech game going. Well, I should say Hungary campaign that became Austria-Hungary. That campaign's going pretty well. I was screwing around with more RE2 because I got more mods. I, I, I really want to keep playing that game, but I, I'm starting to reach the point where like I've played it too much. 
And I don't blame Capcom for it, they made a really excellent game, I still love the game, it's still one of my, like, most favorite games, but you eventually reach a point where you just kinda, kinda stop yourself. High up in the mountains, so it has been said here since time immemorial, there is a the old man says that he only knows the crystal... Alright, so we keep going up here. It's supposed to be around here somewhere. So. The girl shouted to us that a peculiar rock formation points toward the legendary mountain crystal before she nimbly climbed away. Now, I can't remember myself where this thing is at. I want to say it, it might be this. Yes. And, and that is the rock hound crystal. You just gotta go up here. Oh, shit, I just spent deleted something. I don't know what I deleted. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's all you gotta do to get the crystal, and then you're done. Um... As I said before, this is why this, like, I added a lot more lines, I think, over time, because this is the issue I ran into, which is, I'm hauling 20 stone away per train load, and I want to make this, I want to max my effort out on it. So, another option that I do probably have is I could probably set up a ground line and put some stuff on it, too, just to increase, or increase the amount of goods being transported. Um... As I said before, I think I, I rarely did used to use these things as much, uh, the ground stuff, but after finding out that they're pretty goddamn cost effective, um, actually I should probably rename these then. I'm gonna call this train, or stone line, train, stone line train. And I'm actually going to go ahead and do my own little thing, which is I'm going to quickly get more of these guys out. They're going to go more on tools. And eventually I'm going to call these guys back because I'm going to have to have them do something else for me too. So you guys are going to go on the old tool line still. I want more goods being transported because the train goes 40 kilometers an hour. It's faster than most of these vehicles, so it'll, it'll pick up pretty quick. If I start seeing a small income boost, I will upgrade it to the more expensive train, which was that one that was like... Uh, the, the, is it the Borsig? It looks like a Borsig. Um, but I kind of want to hold out a little bit longer than that. There's actually a pretty decent Prussian train I can get access to that I haven't gotten access to yet. I do remember getting it. It's a little bit faster. It's, I think it's a little bit, f or maybe 15 or 20 kilometers faster than the ones we currently have. So it's, it's a decent one to get access to. Day and night we dig, blast, dump. There we go. Still falling okay. Behind. We are blatantly behind schedule and have already exceeded the original budget by more than double. The federal council has even called an emergency session because of us. We urgently need more powerful drills to okay. break constantly. We should build a workshop for that. That would speed up our project tremendously. Okay, so I'm going to quickly call everybody back home. And we are actually going to delete the old tool line now because I no longer can utilize it. So instead, we're going to go from here to here and I'm gonna call this the tool repurpose line. Again it's gonna be the same nice darkish color. And that is where the tools are gonna to get transported to to then get better weapon or get better tools. So that's where those go, then this thing will transport over to here, which in turn means it comes back to here and then I get more stuff. You guys are going to go on the tool repurpose line. I'm just going to start sending them now, just so they go. Keep her going, boys. Keep her going. Oh, I almost forgot. i got to change that tool repurpose line. What's this one? Albert Holt. Here. Here. I don't want you guys wasting me money. Get all the goods. I think there's one more coming back, and then we're done. All right. So those guys are going to go on the tool repurpose line. And then we're going to go from here to then here. And this is going to get called the stone cutting line. And this one I'm going to make it a nice dark, dark blue. That way I can discern it from the tool purpose line. So that one's getting all nice and set up. And then what we're going to do is quickly, quickly, is grab more tools. Okay. 
you guys are gonna get set on the sten stone cutting line. Now I gotta double check, because if I don't now I will forget, which is, which one is this? Lose and halt. So I need stone cutting line. Lose and halt is where they're gonna pick up all the goods and then transport them. Now are they both using the same terminal? No they're not, okay that's what I was sorta of worried about for a second. Alright, that's good. Now to increase our good count, I'm actually going to get more of these guys set up real quick. Again, land travel is pretty cheap, so I'm going to just go all out on it right now. I'm going to get five more guys on tools, because I really want the tool guys to get there so that more produce first. And then when we get a big um, back stock of it, that's when we'll throw it into other things. Here's the Prussian train I was talking about. So where is my trainee train? Um, he's already most of the way there. So I'm gonna actually let it get there before I call it back because I want it to go make me money. One every two days, and act like that's good. I'm hoping these guys start like pursuing themselves further in so these other ones can get around. As I said before, we basically gotta get the goods here to be able to transport it everywhere else. Okay good, that guy was able to get by. You should be fine to continue. Just one more, just one more go in. Glitch out. There we go, there's the glitch. And then these guys keep going. Good, 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 good. More goods are coming in. We got another shit ton of them coming in. It's very nice. That one glitched out, so he's no longer here. But the other ones are all still transporting goods. And I do see some of them getting their goods in. So that's pretty good for us, too. I'm actually going to quickly up update, upgrade this, though. Um, might say, Demon, why would you upgrade this? Uh, because it'll give me more room for these guys to move around in. I'd rather them have more room than no room. So let's sit there and see. I'm going to get more of these guys on my road, road vehicles. I want more of them on that tool line. So I want to flood that thing full of it. Go to the tool repurpose line. And I'll see where it looks like after this load. If I start seeing like a backlog of it, I'm gonna start transporting the other guys in there. So I'm gonna do at least one more good load of them. Also, where is the train? I'll let the train do one more. I, I was focused on that. All right, so this tool's there getting done. That's really good. Uh, we're starting to get a small, small amount of them there. That's not bad. Ah, I love coffee. Not really. I'm not a big coffee guy. I just drink it now and again. Wake me up. It's better than drinking soda pop in the morning to try to wake myself. Alright, so these guys are doing pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get more horse carts in the ready to go out. So, because these guys are actually... The guys who don't have anything on the tool or the stone cutting line don't have much so what I'm gonna do is now send these guys to the stone cutting line because now I got a bit of goods that are piling up again the main goal is you would rather have the supply of this of this line going here getting higher in my personal opinion because if you do that do it that way that means there's more goods getting placed there that are getting done and then once like you get like a influx of resources, that's when you can dump everything into the stone cutting line to get more stone cutters. Because as you will notice, this guy's only got 10 rocks right now because there's no stone cutting going on. So I need to get a lot more of those others done. 
So I'm actually gonna do that real quick. Give me five more. I'm just gonna keep going ham on this. I love the land vehicles. They're so freaking cheap. I love cheapness. Okay, I need all you guys to go here. I want you all to go on the tool repurpose line. Yeah, the tool repurpose line is doing excellent at this point. It's making me a lot of money. And I'll get another, re or get the stone cutting line set up ready here soon. And then once this train actually returns, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the trains just do its own thing so I don't go negative in money. Because I'd like to actually, because it says to do this before 1885, I think that thing said, so that's the main goal. Okay, we got a shit ton more of that back there. You guys are going to go back on the stone cutting line. I need to increase production of stones. Okay, wait. Train came back. I want you to actually return to the station because I'm going to sell you. We're going to get rid of this old, outdated model of a train. So here it is. We're going to sell the train. And this is the new train that you get access to. So just there was a couple medium power tank loaded for freight train. So the D13, the Bolsing, and then you get to 50 kilometers an hour with this train. Again, I kept thinking it was a little bit more than that. I was probably wrong when I was saying that assumption, but 50 kilometers an hour is pretty damn good considering that's 10 kilometers faster than what we're used to. And I think the majority of this train route, if I set it up correctly, stays over that 50 marker. There might be like one or two points where maybe it doesn't, but you'll notice 10 kilometers doesn't seem like much, but it is, it will have an impact on how the trains work. Good more of the repurpose stuff is coming in. Oh, here comes another shit load of uh, the uh, stone cutters. That's good, that's good, that's excellent. And how are we doing financially at this point? So the stone cutting line's still negative. The stone line train is still in the negative. That's just because we haven't had enough um, tools getting sent there just yet. I think now we're gonna see a bit of a jump. Because now these guys are returning. They're getting their stuff. They're going. These guys are coming in. They're going. The last guy might have to wait a few moments to get his done. But um, I think my best bet's to send more guys on this line. So, horse cart get me more guys on the repurpose line. That's the one that really needs to just fund this. Get me more. More. The stone cutting line I think has plenty. Yeah, how's the train looking? 20. That's very good. That's very good. The issue we're running into now is that all the guys who have who are trying to get the repurpose tools for the stone cutting line is just not there's not enough. There's a ton of these things back here ready to go. Here come more empty carts, which isn't necessarily the thing we want right now because it's going to cut down on the line. Okay, he's out of here. Yeah, I'm going to have to increase production on that. I need more goods transported from that because there just isn't enough getting done. I want more. Give me more. Tool repurpose line. Go, 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 go. I mean, there's 87 here. This thing's always going to be produced. This one produces a shit ton. It's just the repurpose line is where it's going to hold up at. Yeah, because there's still not enough goods getting produced. I need this to, like, stock, like, the back or stockpile up real bad. Because, like, when, when, when they come in, eventually the stone cutting line comes in, and there just isn't enough goods getting made. So I need to definitely increase production on it. Oh yeah, we're in the greens now, that's really good. How is the train looking? 20 stones, very excellent. That's exactly what I want. Keep the money going. Where is... 
kind of waiting to see when the next line of the uh, stone cutters come in. A lot of those guys getting done now. Oh, I see some of them. They're coming. They want it. As long as we're in the green, I'm I'm pretty much happy. Because that, that's what the main goal is. The uh, tool repurpose line is making me a lot of money. The stone cutting line, it's not a lot of money, but that's because there just isn't enough tools yet coming in. I think once it circulates for a while, it should catch up rather heavily. Because my only other job, my only other thing I could really do is I could add more to the stone cutter, the tool line. That'd be about the only move I have left to like get these goods really going. I wonder if there's a better route for me to send these guys on. What terminal are you on? You guys are on terminal... I wonder if there's a better terminal. How about we said... I don't really want to switch them. Oh yeah, there we go. We're getting some more of the repurposed tools set up. These guys are starting to get a flow going. They come in, they let off. They come in, they let off. They come in, they let off. Very good. Very good. This thing's consumption is at 50, so it is getting the tools done. That's that's what matters. There we go. Alright, I'm enjoying this. I'm watching this happen. Yeah, the goods are starting to definitely catch up now. That's that's excellent. I think we had... Oh no, it's starting to slow down again. Wait a minute. Why does this slow down sometimes like that? Like, there's 15... Or, yeah, there's 15, I think, of for the stone cutters line, so they should always be going at full sprint for production. They only go to 24. I wonder if... Is there anywhere here where the things are getting done and repurposed and are just holding on to them? Wow. What the hell? Why isn't my... Okay, there we go. Wouldn't let me move if the camera was stuck. <laughs> Dude, I think they keep it around 24, 20... Oh, no, there we go. That's, that's what I want to see. They know there's more people coming, so they're increasing the supply. The game's getting ready for it. Continue on, boys. Continue on. Very good. Very good. Money's coming in. Stones hauled away is doing pretty good. I said I was going to... Hmm. I don't know. Do you guys... I, I guess I could do it. I guess I could do it. Let's do here, to here, uh, stone, line, cart. This one will make it a nice dark gray, that way I can discern the two. Alright. I'm going to add a few onto it, I just want to see more goods get done. Oh wow, these guys are blocking traffic now, these little bastards. I wonder if I need more on this. I might, because these goods are starting to pile up. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's get me another five. You guys are going to go tools. 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 Go to the stone cutting line. Because I'm noticing it become a problem now. We're getting a backup of... Or we have... I think we're producing too much. I don't think we're producing enough down or transporting enough goods down here now. So the tool line up here is actually falling behind. I actually want to switch this. Switch to terminal one. Because if I switch this to terminal one, whatever's there, these guys are going to go over here instead. And it's a bigger circle to go around. So there's even this will cut traffic down by a fair bit. Which is good for me. So if I don't. Production is going to be becoming a problem here shortly. All 
Alright, you guys in? Very good job. Where is our five-man team coming in at? They should be very close. There's our five to six-man team. Yeah, there's a lot of them coming in now. That'll definitely handle the supply situation here. Very good guys, very good. So we'll get rid of a lot of the stuff there, and that hopefully will alleviate the stress that's occurring back here, because these guys are actually like building up now. Especially when this when this line comes in, it's gonna just disintegrate the supply. There's plenty of it for it. Bam. 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 Yeah, that, that just destroyed the supply. That's good. That's very good. Let's see, where are my empties? There's some more empties coming. Yeah, this is basically what I talked about for the game. It's, this is when you know you have a problem, is when this is building up like this. Um, I wonder if there's a way for me to build a road that will let them have access. It's a little bit of a costly... It's a little bit of money, but it might alleviate... Yeah, there we go. That'll alleviate the stress. Because what this will allow to do is these guys who are transporting to the stone cutting line go left. They transport their goods, and then they come back using this line, hopefully. Yes. So these guys are going to keep using this line to get to point A to point B, which means there's less traffic on here, and I don't have to worry about them getting stuck. Good, you guys just finished up. Head out. Goods are getting sold. Goods are getting sold. Very good, very good, very good. Yeah, I think we just eventually reached that point that I don't like, which is we start hemorrhaging money on that line. Alright, I said I was going to get a stone cut line too, so let's get five of these guys. They're just going to go on um, stone right now. What is this saying? Yeah, I know. So we're going to go on the stone line card. Why are they going that way around? That'll hopefully alleviate some of the stress. Uh, cause the truck, this train line's not doing as well as it could. What is this, the upper point? You guys are gonna go for a full thing and then drop it down there. I wonder if my best bet is to add more to the train. The train's not really transporting much, and I think that also is having an impact on what we're doing. Let's let her go down here, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get ready for it. Go ahead and head in. I'm going to give you more. i give you more. transport anymore. I want more. Give me more. Now she's at eight. It's gonna take her a little bit longer to get up to speed, but I'm fine with that. I need more of you guys on the stone line too. I just want to get rid of this stone. Stone, 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 stone. Kind of go on the stone line card. This isn't bad, that's how it should work.
Yeah, I think that's the issue we've ran into is I have too much stone back here piling up, so these guys have, haven't been getting as many goods done. Hopefully this alleviates it, because now I got a train going to and from, getting 32. I got the guys on the ground, or the cart line getting it done now too as well. This should hopefully get rid of a lot of this. Otherwise, I mean, my other choice is to build another train to it. Which I could do. I would just have to delete some of this. Yeah, I guess I could get it set up. What's a, what's a couple hundred thousand? Let's go ahead and get the line set up. Ooh, we got lucky. I thought that wouldn't let me build that there. Okay, wait a minute. One thing that I gotta test is, can I increase this to a two-liner? I can. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly pause this, and what I'm gonna do is this to this is gonna get deleted, and what I need to do is then I need to go at least 60. That's fine. And then you are gonna connect to this line, and then you are going to connect to that line. And what I'm going to do is stone line train is going to get switched to terminal 2. And then I'm going to buy another train and do the exact same move. So what i got to do is go here, upgrade this to a twofer, apply. And I've basically got to get the exact same thing built on this end. Hopefully this will alleviate some of the stress. We got a lot of doing on the carts. Very good. Alright. Now somebody might be like, Demon, you gotta connect these things still. Oh, I know I do. Okay, so we're gonna do the exact same thing as we did before. So we're gonna go for this, and we're gonna buy... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's 64 we're gonna have on stones. That should alleviate stress. And then you guys are all gonna get set on this similar line. I'm gonna have to rename them. So that is where you're gonna drop. And this will be where you pick up. So this will be stone, line, train, oop, don't want that spelled incorrect, O2. You are going to be a nice, I think we did, let's go for a nice light color like that. And then what I'm going to do is train, line, rename, O1. And I think with that, I'm going to end this episode. I think it might be over a little bit. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, that's this is the European campaign. It's a little bit more financially happy when it comes to my money. So um, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. When we come back, guys, we're going to continue this mission. And hopefully uh, by next mission, I can actually have this thing done. So yeah, please do those things. And I'll see you guys in the next round of Transport Fever. See you all then.